Good evening, you're watching News Night, and the top story continues to be the anti CAA protests that have rocked the entire country in various cities today. There was solidarity shown to Jamia students by other university students as well, uh, protesting what they call uh, was unwarranted action by the Delhi police after the violence that erupted uh, just outside Jamia uh, University in Delhi. Uh, we've seen protests in Hyderabad, in Kolkata, uh, in Delhi, multiple protests in Delhi, in Ahmedabad, as well as Bangalore and Chennai. That's just some of them that I'm mentioning right now. Today, uh, the Prime Minister has appealed for peace, so has the Home Minister. There have been many statements coming out of the government as well. There's a political blame game at play here as well, but the main story and that we're going to focus on really here is that should the, uh, the police have gone into the campus in Jamia and then tear gas students inside the libraries, that's one aspect of the issue. Uh, and the other aspect, of course, as the government and the police keep reiterating that there were miscreants and anti-social elements that hijacked the protest and turned violent against the police. First, we'll give you some reports, some ground reports that our colleagues have filed from various uh, cities in India where these protests are uh, held by students primarily in solidarity with their Jamia, Amelia, Islamia University student counterparts have played out. Take a look at these reports first. Now we are reporting from Aligarh Muslim University. Yesterday late night, police, that is RAF team and PAC teams, entered the campus of Aligarh Muslim University and the, uh, a peaceful protest was going on inside. This is what the students have to say. Despite that, force was used and tear shells were loaded inside the college premises. After that, the administration has decided to shut and close the college for uh, till the 5th of January. So far, the internet services are not operational in the entire Aligarh district after that particular episode of last night. Heavy police deployment have been placed on the gates of Aligarh Muslim University. You can see the RAF and PAC teams are deployed outside uh, the university campus and gate. Last late night, there was protest which was going on against the CAA inside the campus and the police force went inside the uh, Aligarh Muslim University and the force was used. We have those visuals also. There was a pelt also that took place uh, that took place from the sides of the student this is what police has to say and in defense police used uh, tear gas as well as force to stop them at this point in time you can see the students of the university are leaving uh, after the vacation have been declared by the administration they are going to their respective home you can see the students are leaving the premises they are waiting for their buses and the auto rickshaws to go to the railway station so this is the picture of Aligarh Muslim University. The students here are also leaving the campus and going to their homes till normalcy prevails back inside the campus. Uh, in the afternoon, we had seen how Mamta Banerjee, while speaking from the dais, uh, she had suggested that people should also go ahead and submit deputations to the governor who is trying to uh, interfere in the state government's affairs. That's one. They're also, she had also asked people to go ahead, write their names, uh, even if needed, with blood and send that cloth, uh, piece of cloth, to the governor and the president to register their protest against uh, Citizenship Amendment Act. Uh, on the other hand, we know the governor governor is on record uh, advising the state chief minister not to provoke people with such uh, political rallies because uh, he is of the opinion that any law which is emanating from the parliament should be respected by every constitutional body and the state government being a constitutional body should also respect the law emanating from the parliament suggesting the citizenship amendment act should be respected by the state government important to mention other the state governor yesterday had summoned the state chief secretary and the and the state DGP asking them to appear today before him at 10 in the morning when he wanted to take uh, the latest as far as the status of law and order situation in the state of West Bengal is concerned. Did they appear? The answer is no. Hundreds of students have gathered together in solidarity with their brothers and sisters in Delhi. They are condemning the brutal attacks of the police on the students and they are saying that uh, 
they are today in solidarity with what has happened and they are with their uh, student fraternity who's there in Delhi. In fact, the students' union of Manu has boycotted the exams today. A series of exams were scheduled for today. They boycotted the exams. They are here at the main entrance protesting against the Delhi brutality and uh, trying to convey a strong message that it was only their democratic right to protest and it wasn't right on the police to use brutal forces against them. In fact, late last night, Manu students started protesting and throughout the night, they have been raising their voice. Anil Asikha, the BJP joins us now on the program along with MC Abbas, political analyst. Also with us, Anir Ban Banerjee and uh, Geeta Bhatt. She's an academician. Thank you all for being with us. Uh, the fallout, Geeta Bhatt, of uh, yesterday's uh, violence, first of all, and then the police entering the Jamia campus and uh, allegedly beating up students, uh, lobbing tear gas shells inside libraries, etc. Uh, we now see all over the country people are standing in solidarity uh, with the Jamia students saying there was absolutely unnecessary to fire inside the campus tear gas shells that is and they're calling it police brutality do you think these uh, protests that have now fanned across the country it's not just one city or two cities we are getting reports from many multiple cities today do you believe still that these students are being misled because most of these protests ma'am today are not uh, primarily anti-CAA protests that's a byproduct but they're protesting what they call Delhi police brutality against students well, uh, well, Athar, um, uh, you know, this uh, student's protest which had uh, started two days back from Jamia, which of course was against the CAA, the amendment which took place, you know, this has unfortunately, this protest which I assume and I, and I want to uh, say that this protest must have been with the idea of doing it in a, in a very peaceful manner, but somehow it was taken over by some communal forces and after that the kind of destruction that we have seen of public property it is something which is very uncalled for every you know students in a democracy have a right to dissent but that does not give them a right to destroy and to destruct which has happened and there are many visuals which are which have been showing at very in various TV channels where one can see whether they are the students of Jamia or whether they are some anti-social elements but definitely that there is a call which is being made to create this kind of a situation as if there is an anarchy in the country which is very unfortunate and the kind of you know the people from political parties who are trying to come out and instigate the students and instigate this call is also something uh, which is uh, one is uh, really shocked to see this also you see if you see there are there have been the kind of sloganeering which has been happening in these kind of protests where one can see there are many students whether they are of Jamia or, or somewhere else but there have been I mean these kind of sloganeering which is in which basically is showing as if they uh, they are calling it that this is because this act is against the secular fabric of the country okay. but no, none no, of me, these uh, slogans show here, that uh, it has Gita anything Bhatt, to do with I, I completely agree with you are, that peaceful protests religious. okay one second they are for religion, uh, they have come th out. these slogans certain slogans I can't verify because there is of course reports also that these uh, the sound has been tweaked there I'm not going there right now but I do agree with you Gita Bhatt that uh, largely peaceful protests were in fact overtaken by miscreants as the police has called them anti-social elements who have vandalized public property it's all on tape I have no quarrel with you there but is this the argument that uh, the Jamia students say very clearly that students inside on campus who had nothing to do with the protests were brutalized by Delhi police in their charge on campus which is patently illegal first of all are you justifying police action uh, inside campus lobbing tear gas shells into libraries uh, attacking female students without the presence of uh, lady constables uh, and pulling them by the hair it's all documented ma'am all of it is on camera See, I mean, this this kind of an action, no one is going to support. But the fact remains that each side is telling their own story, and uh, for each of them, there is a documented proof, video. Uh, the, there is a no, but what, video is which shows that. Where you is see, the proof there that is a, students inside uh, libraries were see, part of the protest, no, no, ma'am? They were inside what, libraries. See, they were not even part of the protests. Inside, what happened there? That you know what, which led uh, to the police? Because they, you, if you if you go to Jamia, you can very well see that there is a thoroughfare. There is a road 
road and the you know the campus is on both sides of the road and that is something where you know it's a public road okay. so maybe there was a lot of mob as the you know the police officials are saying Again, that they are the, the ones who entered version, that is That's, what i, I understand i understand you saying there are multiple versions version. of what actually but went down don't forget that there are two police officers who are in icu uh, they are so, fighting so are for students, their life so, and so are students ma'am so so are many constables so both so sides have students, been hurt so are students ma'am so are students and they for no fault of their own they have a right to protest mc abbas wants to come in one should not play with fire mc abbas who's playing with fire mc Why abbas I, i heard you ma'am who's playing i heard fire, you mc abbas the bjp and uh, the government i heard you very there are certain right. political entities at play who are mm -hmm. stoking the fire <laughs> i absolutely uh, do not uh, endorse that statement first and foremost jamia millia islamia students have the right and authority and the constitution of india and this uh, uh, democracy allows them to protest there was a peaceful protest the police themselves the delhi police has addressed this issue and said yes there were anti social elements and need not be the students my simple point that i'd like to derive here athar sahab is where is one proof against the students students coming out and burning the buses or ransacking and so on and so forth there's not a single instance there but what does the delhi do it is illegal to use tear gas shells in confined spaces they enter the library they enter the rooms they also enter girls hostel they switch off the lights what are they supposed to do this is absolutely horrifying there've been live videos on this and as a matter of fact after that they go to the hostel and they put pressure to write a sign petition that police was not there daraya ja raha hai dhamkaya ja raha hai this is turning out to be a catastrophe a joke on democracy we also see so many live visuals and audios where the girls no, are being put in pulled by their hair how do you respond how do you respond happening? to this charge how do you respond to this charge that the students are now being misled by political forces because there was arson there was vandalism that's also on tape we saw buses being vandalized by people bricks were thrown at uh, on the buses all that is also documented Absolutely, Adar Sir, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, I agree with me? you. But these are not the students. The students entailed in peaceful protest, and these students were in there. It is some other misguided elements or anti-social elements who are entailing this. But now, let me come to the uh, part of this. You, you know, the BJP says if this is politically motivated. Absolutely not. The students in tens of thousands of numbers are sane enough to take their stand. And this, mind you, is not just happening in Delhi. This is happening in my land of Bangalore. It's happening in Lucknow, Hyderabad, Bihar, Patna, everywhere across. So, is the political party able to do this everywhere? We students have also passed out of college a couple of years protests, back. We do if not if have the protests are breaking own, out all over the country, can you pin the blame on one political party, saying that they are the ones fueling the protests? Anil Singh. Atha, first of all, uh, I was just listening to listening to Mr. Abbas. Mr. Abbas, you are absolutely correct. Constitution has given us uh, the right to protest, but the protest should be peaceful. It should not be full of violence, which we which we are observing since yesterday in Delhi and other parts of our country. Okay. And uh, secondly, you are saying like uh, uh, these students are not responsible. That the students did it. Sorry. Uh, you have a proof that the uh, let, let me the complete violence, first of all the vandalism please. let me let me please come let me let me please complete i do not like interference in such a sensitive topic go ahead go ahead please. i should have at least 30 seconds of mine go ahead ma'am i just want to say here atha i mean uh, if you want to protest you can protest peacefully you can say whatever you want to do but attacking private property attacking public property and then uh, you say that uh, uh, police is uh, barbaric and police was trying to control us and police entered the campus and police checked uh, that the girls uh, should not be violent all that thing if you are protesting then stop uh, playing victim card that i am a girl i am a boy i am a student i am an outsider you are protesting you are harming the property no, then you have to but, face the consequences the but the the, 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 uh, the behavior of the police was wrong or no, right no no anila ji anila ji where is you are saying oh, i'm sorry ma'am i have to stop you there where is the evidence that any of these girls who were attacked by the police yesterday were even part of the protest there is no evidence 
that is the point of inquiry and I think we should wait for the report to come out. But I need to say one thing I'm in a sorry, very plain and simple even, words. Even, even, uh, even Adhir, please allow me. Ma'am, just one point. I, I'll, I'll give you time to respond to this. Please tell me you're not justifying police action on people who are not part of the protest. Because the police cannot be or act like the vandals themselves. There has to be a marked difference between how protesters, vandals and anti-social elements react and how a trained police force reacts. That's their job for God's sake. If the police behavior was barbaric, I have said just now, inquiry will be held. And if they have not behaved properly, even the action will be taken against them. But right now we are sitting and we are discussing and we are seeing that how the uh, behavior, out, violent behavior outburst is there. I mean, these students, they have been sent by the parents to study. And where is their loyalty lying? Against the their loyalty seems to be lying, uh, lying with these three countries. I mean, there is absolutely, in CA, in CA, there is absolutely not a single thing which can harm the citizens of a country and they are fighting and they are destroying the That's a question now for the courts. It's in the court now, 18th, uh, the, the CGI will hear. The CGI will hear all petitions regarding the I, CAA. I understand very well that what is the psychology of the Congress party. They killed, they killed thousands of the six. Well, we know, we, we can talk very about well. pogroms, uh, other pogroms in, in this country politics. also. I don't want no, to go no, that, what, on that road. Uh, one, one second. Anirban, Ban Anirban, I want to ask you because today we saw in Calcutta, Mamta Banerjee, the Chief Minister herself, uh, taking out a protest rally, speaking uh, very uh, tough language against the CAA, against NPR, against uh, NRC. And she says it's the plot of the ruling government right now, the BJP, to divide uh, on, on these issues. Do you believe and do you uh, uh, agree with the argument laid down by the government, the BJP right now, that for political gain, the opposition is trying to mislead youngsters, students, and trying to stoke fear uh, and incite fear. Is that is that something you buy? If you don't, give us reasons why. First of, first of all, the situation right now in the entire country, this has been the doing of the BJP who have been starting this plan right off the bat from 2014. And not for a moment do you, would, you, would you want to think that the BJP did not want whatever is happening right now in the country because as long as there is fire, there is raging fire all throughout the country, that is when the BJP will be able to co accomplish its ulterior motives, that is to sell off each and every national property to its crony capitalist friends and the issues that matter actually inflation economy jobs the, the environment everything will go to the back bench nobody will care about those things anymore nobody will be able to even speak about those things and we will be all involved in these kind of protests where we have no other option to do anything else so exactly this is what the BJP wanted to do. The opposition is merely trying to show the people that, see, this is their plan. You must come out on the streets Anila and protest for your own rights. That. that is uh, all the people are doing. Okay, you're, you're saying, this, you're linking it to a, a larger plan. Anila Singh wants to respond. Go ahead, Anila Ji. Adha, first of all, I would like to tell Mr. Ban that place your loyalty at right place. I mean, you have to talk about your country, first of all. Don't start uh, advocating on the behalf of these three countries, theocratic states. And secondly, you are saying that Bharatiya Janata nobody, Party is responsible for whatever is happening in this country in today's date, right now. I mean, we are, the, we, we are going to act as a fire extinguisher. You are the people, you are the people who love who love to you throw, no right, throw you the no peace right and harmony in fire. We, we are fire are extinguishers. We are going to, to who this? are you to question my We ideas? are going to control this fire as well and we very well okay. know that how to take India ahead. You we know how to control the slowdown of the economy as well. You do not have to you worry. If you do not have sense that how the economic slowdown is affecting all of the world, then it is your problem. I'll come back to you. Let her finish her point. We have got priority in place of your as for us country is above all. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I have a small question. All right, all right, all right. I have a, all right. I have a small question to ask Anila Singh. 
All right. Now, one second. I have a give small a thing. Now, give me a second. Now, uh, uh, I'm sure Abbas wants to come in. Okay. Then I have separate questions for both uh, Abbas as well as Geeta ji. But yes, Mr. Yes. Abbas, please go first. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. All right. Quick question. A quick question to uh, Anila Singh ji. A quick question, uh, Madam. Your BJP MLA. Your BJP MLA. Yes, Abbas, go ahead. Hello. Yes, Abbas, we can hear you. Go ahead. There, I'm able to hear two, three. Yes, yeah, like we're trying to rectify okay. that. My Go simple ahead. question to uh, Anila Singh ji, the Bhajpa spokesperson, is, um, ma'am, uh, your uh, BJP MLA Kuldeep Sengar has been convicted of rape. What do you have to say to that? No, but that's Could not, you comment that's as a not the topic of discussion of here. Uh, uh, no, or Mr. Narendra Mr. Abbas, Mr. Abbas, we are, we are all aware. I have no, no, we are all aware. Don't try and delay the conversation here, please. No, no, Anila ji, you don't have to respond. So you don't have to respond to that. This is not the topic of question. This is not the topic right now. MC Abbas, we are aware that Mr. Sengar has been found guilty, but that is not the topic of discussion right now. I have faith in Indian judiciary. You are here to That is not the topic of discussion right now. I want to ask both of you to calm down for a second. Now, Geeta Bhatt, let me go to Geeta Bhatt. No, no, one second. Kuldeep Sengar is not the point of discussion. We'll have a separate debate on Kuldeep Sengar when we have the time. Uh, we can talk about him later. Right now, I want to focus on what's happening across the country. Geeta Ji, uh, let me come back to you. Uh, today, even the Prime Minister tweeted about it. He said that dissent is essential for democracy, but it has to be a peaceful form of protest. Uh, today, Mr. Amit Shah has also called for peace, uh, as well as other leaders in the government, as well as many other leaders. But there is a palpable edge to these protests. Now, whether or not you believe these are politically fueled or not, you cannot ignore all of these students. Uh, and it would be presumptuous of us, you and I, to presume that they do not know anything about the bill or the, the what is contained in the bill. If there is palpable anger against what happened in Jamia, uh, the police action yesterday, don't you think there should be more of an effort of the government to come out and reach out to these students and assure them that if any misstep was taken, that would be rectified. The government hasn't done so yet, ma'am. Uh, well, Athar, uh, you see, uh, while uh, they, I mean to say that, uh, uh, you know, these students, they do not understand. They, they are all college-going students and they are, I mean, they are doing graduation, post-graduation studies. So I'm sure if they are not educated, they are literate. And understanding of what is there in this amendment, it's an amendment which is there to give citizenship, not to take away. Now tell me, what is there in this amendment which takes away the right of of, uh, of citizenship of an individual who is already a citizen of this country, which all of these students are who are on the road. So there, whether it is their understanding of the bill, if it is not clear, that I, I, I it is a little difficult to buy this. It is, it is, it is, it is difficult to buy this. It is very categorical. That means it is not. They are saying that they are fighting for the secular fabric of this country. But they don't know what the is not the secular fabric. Okay, well, I have very little time. Anil Ban, I'll give you the last word. I'll give Anil Ban Banerjee the last word. I have 30 seconds left. Anil Ban, you get the last word. Go ahead, please. Madam Bhatt said, what is there that says that you will take away citizenship? I will tell you it is Section 6B of the Act, Citizenship Amendment Act 2019. Go through Section 6B. It gives absolute power to the government to decide government on what the documents the required for citizenship. The right the, in, to Assam, to in Assam, we have already seen what has, what has happened. Single not a single document was accepted in Assam. The, the government. government. No, Don't madam, do not mislead. It is Section the 6B. The, the Section 6B is there this. to take away citizenship. So Please don't mislead. I know it will not affect you, but it will affect millions of people. It is Section 6B. All right, we're completely out of time on this. We're completely really out of time on this. There is a, so much still that needs investigation right now because there are reports pouring in of non-police personnel beating up students with sticks, uh, punching them, kicking them. They're all affiliated to a particular organization. I will not name the organization till I have more proof. That's responsible journalism. But I will tell uh, my viewers, please uh, watch this space. This is not over yet. Thank you for joining us. That was Newsnight.